guys, welcome back. Back for another workout. Today's gonna to be a great one. We got our beginner resistance intervals. All you need is your dumbbells and your mat, and you're ready to go. Same story, eight exercises, 40 on, 20 off. If you're struggling to go the whole 40, just do what you can, okay? Don't beat yourself up, do what you can. Rest when we rest. When the screen's green, we work. When it's red, we rest, okay? The first exercise is going to be standing bicycle. Um, Hanley's got two weights. She's got a five kg and she's got a three kg. Okay, so we're giving her the heavier one to start off with. I'll start the timer and then we can start. Okay, so we're just starting with a curl. It's, I'll give you a couple of options here. So if your weight is heavy, if it's heavy for you, you can do the hammer curl. So you want to just hammer. Okay, if it's, if it's kind of intermediate, you can simultaneous hammer. Okay, yeah, simultaneous. And then you can also do both open that's a little bit heavier and then if it's if it's just a bit out of your reach you can alternate okay so let's get cracking with the timer okay we'll gain three two one and time's on okay simultaneous pull so that's the hardest way to do it if you face me quickly you'll notice on this upper arm perfectly still okay that arm is not swinging at all arm is perfectly still if you do start getting tired we can you can switch over to alternating so just alternate make sure the core is nice and tight you're going to want to drop forward so you want to tighten that core right around perfect okay face the camera exhale as you curl inhale as you take it down nice and controlled on the way down Okay, perfect, and give me those two. We're gonna switch over to the dumbbell kickback. So we're gonna go a little bit lighter. We're gonna take the two three kgs. Hard to get into the proper position for this one. So yep, that's perfect. Nice and low, back nice and straight, elbows up. And you'll notice her form is further than 90 degrees. Okay, so we just wanna keep the tension on the tricep. So that's perfect, tension stays on the tricep. And kick back, exhale as you kick. Inhale as you bring it in. Perfect. Exhale. And again, use the breathing to set the tempo of the exercise. Exhale is a big tough one. You're going to feel those triceps burning. You can go for that. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, the button squat. You're just gonna hold it up. You can hold it that way, or you can hold it that way, it doesn't matter. And then from there, you're just gonna push back like we've been doing the squat. Okay, and squat. Perfect. And again, we wanna push that knee back. We don't want that knee pushing forward, okay? And you can always, if you want, you can always get the chair and you can just touch. The nice thing about the chair is it gives us a, a height to, to reach. Okay, so each squat will look exactly the same. Important that those knees keep tracking nice and straight. Okay, keep tracking those knees nice and straight. Okay, exhale as you come up. Give those threes again. We're gonna do the bent over fly. Exactly the same body position. Exactly the same body position as the kickback. Bend over, get nice and low, perfect, and fly. Okay, big focus on squeezing those shoulder blades. Okay, if you face the camera for us quickly. If the weight is light, you can stop before your knee. Okay, so just stop before the knee and then keep going. If the weight starts getting heavier, just bring it closer again. Okay, exhale as you come up. This is great, she's doing all the work. I love it. <laughs> exhale, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, you got it. Nice easy one coming up next. Or easier than this. Okay, and relax. On your back on the mat. Just move those dumbbells out the way. On your back on the mat. Okay. 
take the two dumbbells. We're doing the chest fly with a hip lift. So from the exhale, hip up. Yep, here we go. And fly. Okay, when you bring it up, I want you to rotate so that your thumbs are on the outside. Yep, so thumbs on the outside. Okay, and to make it a bit harder for yourself, you can actually squeeze the dumbbells together up top. Just gonna feel that chest, giving that little bit of extra, extra squeeze out of the chest. Okay, and again, focus on the glutes. We want to squeeze those glutes. So nice big squeeze. Keep squeezing the glutes, tighten the core, exhale, belly back into the spine. Easy one after this, I promise. Okay, relax, all done. Okay, calf rock. That is an easy one. Okay, dumbbells down. I'm just gonna move that out the way a little bit. Okay, so what you wanna do on the calf rock, you're gonna rock back onto your heels, toes up, and onto your toes, heels up. Okay, nice and easy, nice and high. Make sure you're working through the big toes. So you wanna work through the two big toes and the inside of the foot. Okay, exhale as you go up, inhale down, exhale up. So nice and controlled. Great for the tibialis anterior, so the muscle on the front of the shin, great for the calf, great for the Achilles and the muscles underneath your feet. Okay, so good one for runners. Cyclers also good as they're failing just to get that strength in the calves and the Achilles. Okay, excellent. Okay, dumbbell shoulder press. You can just place the camera for me. Okay, we're gonna get those elbows open. You don't be tempted to have the elbows in front. Okay, elbows open and then press up. It's gonna feel as though you're pressing behind your head. Okay, you're not perfectly in line, but it's just gonna feel like you're pressing up behind your head. All the way down. Again, I like full range of motion, so get those weights to touch your, your shoulders if you can. We're not going heavy. If you are going heavy, safe to stop at 90 degrees okay but for now weight's nice and light full range of motion exhale on the way up inhale on the way down perfect body's nice and straight if you face me you'll notice the elbows are out body's nice and straight pulls nice and tight okay perfect keep going 10 seconds Those two, we're on to the dumbbell deadlift. Okay, chest out, back nice and straight. Soften the knees, and you're gonna just push the bum back as you go down. Okay, the back nice and straight. Okay, perfect. Perfect, back nice and straight, soft knees. When you come up, straighten up perfectly, you're gonna feel those hamstring. I'm still gonna feel the lower back. Basic progression of this one is just to go heavier. If you wanna make it easier, regress the exercise, just put the weights down, okay. that's it okay and relax well done <laughs> you could okay Cheers.